I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, the 17th of February. Uh, we're going to slowly dig out of the deep freeze. It'll be a slow process, but a good chance we see the 50s in here by the end of this week. Let's take a look this morning, and hey, hey, hey. yeah, still some snow on the ground up there at Mount Chiha. Uh, temperatures are in the 20s, but slowly but surely that will fade away as we warm up later this week. Let's go way down south. How about a live, live look? This isn't live. You're watching this delayed. It's live when I'm looking at it. That's uh, downtown Mobile. As seen from our sky cam at the battleship USS Alabama. And in Chilton County, a look at downtown Clanton coming from the uh, sky cam there uh, just above the uh, city hall. Water vapor satellite shot. The uh, amplitude will begin to lessen in coming days, but still we have that cold trough over the east. And by golly, still some clouds over north Alabama this morning. Here's a look at temperatures. Much of the nation pretty cold. Uh, it looks like the cold uh, pocket is up there over the Dakotas and parts of Minnesota. And down this way, readings are between 25 and 34. Alexander City, the warmest, and Haleyville, the coldest. Uh, it looks like Birmingham sitting at 30 at 5 o'clock. Around the nation, things are pretty quiet on the watch warning map. Just a, a handful of winter weather advisories. But uh, looks pretty good. Much of the nation's had a wild winter, and uh, it'll be good to have a few fairly calm days. There's the QPF chart, expected rain for the next five days. This is valid through Sunday evening, and not very much. Uh, in fact, barely enough to measure for much of the state. The heavier totals off to the west, and it's starting to look like the better rain event will be Monday of next week. As you will see in modeling, this is the 06 GFS at noon today at 500 millibars. And again, there's still some energy coming through that trough, so it's not going to be a sunny day. We'll call it partly sunny. In fact, again, it looks like we're starting off the day with uh, some low cl uh, clouds around this morning, but it should be dry. And uh, a reasonable chance we break up toward the uh, mid-40s today. And uh, still pretty chilly, though. As you can see, the uh, 540 line is down there south of Mobile. Uh, tomorrow, we moderate. Uh, how about low 50s? That'll be good. And Friday, we're talking mid-50s. That'll be better. And again, we stay dry. Kicking off the weekend on Saturday, you can see how the flow is now zonal. And uh, down below that, a little wave could kick off a shower Saturday, but it sure looks like it will be a very minor event if you've got something planned outdoors. We mentioned just a chance of a few scattered showers on Saturday and nothing beyond that. And then Sunday, that feature is on by, and you can see a more significant storm cranking off to the west. And there's Monday of next week, and that looks pretty wet with a surface low near Mobile. Look at the uh, European model. This is Monday evening at 6 o'clock, and that uh, looks pretty wet. Surface low just to the south of here. And the uh, Canadian, uh, this is Monday morning at uh, 6 o'clock. It's got the surface low north of us, and that might even suggest some thunder if this is right, uh, some thunderstorms on Monday. But one way or the other, the global models are beginning to converge on the idea that the next really decent rain event will be Monday of next week. Uh, there's Tuesday, back to the GFS. That storm is gone. We have some cold air advection coming in, so it will be cooler. Looks like highs dropping back in the 40s. And Wednesday, that looks like the typical cold El Nino winter pattern we have seen, a polar vortex over the northeast and an active southern branch in a system down there in Old, Me old Mexico. Cold air in place. Uh, again, uh, we'll see how that pans out. Uh, uh, the next day, uh, Friday, it's got the storm south of us in the Gulf with no precipitation here. But again, you can see how the door is open for more winter weather mischief later this month. Uh, we'll go to March 4th. Strong trough rotating through just uh, northwest of here. And, hey, March is tornado season, you know. It kind of looks stormy, doesn't it? And, again, we all know this is voodoo. As always, we're just peaking. That's it for the uh, Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your
your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.